My understanding and recollection of glioblastomas are that they are a malignant and aggressive grade four brain tumor that can appear anywhere in the brain and spread very, very rapidly. The symptoms that I witnessed uh, included headaches, seizures, confusion, memory loss, uh, loss of so eyesight, muscle weakness, problems speaking, uh, and so on. Generally, are experienced in people who are older. But in my case, this was something which we experienced in the loss of my 11 year old niece, Holly, who died um, several years ago. The question of diagnosis is a particularly difficult one for me and my family. Holly was originally diagnosed around about 24 to 30 months before she passed away uh, with epilepsy. She had uh, headaches and she had these um, epileptic type incidents and was under the care of you know, world renowned specialist hospitals in the UK. And about six months down the line from this initial diagnosis, following a regular care package and scans, the suggestion that there may be something more uh, nefarious was made. Another six months down the line, we got the diagnosis that she did indeed have terminal brain cancer. The one thing I think I learned and would pass on was that this really does not just impact um, adults, it does impact children and perhaps more than we realize ourselves as caregivers and family members struggle to find information uh, about glioblastomas, uh, about um, treatment, about care and support. Since Holly passed, actually, my sisters found a lot more information that was available at the time and she's in touch with um, parents and patients in North America and uh, and elsewhere around the globe but it seems to me there's still a real shortage of of knowledge and information around this condition the year of the zebra campaign matters to me personally because i realized that over the course of 10 years my family had been impacted by at least three we're sharing knowledge with family members and extended communities to help people understand and that's fantastic to learn more, visit www.osmosis.org zebra.